Hello, America, and welcome to another episode of Certa Pro Painters Presents Montez at Midday. And I'm your host, Dre Montez, and I hope everyone is doing well on this Magic Monday edition of the show. This weather is phenomenal. I, I, I don't know what to say about this weather. This 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 weather here gets me. You you can do it all in this weather. You can cook, you can sleep, you can create new life, you can think, you can get it together. But most importantly, how are we doing today, folks? Hope everyone had a great weekend. I think the weather simplified the weekend. You know, when it rains, how people get, you know, how it gets in the snows here in the Midwest. But when the weather was the way it was this weekend, hello, America. Hello, America. If it's your first time tuning in, I thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. We're going to raise the roof. Got high fives. Chest bump. Let's hug this thing out. It's getting here for the real thing. Got Willie with me today. Willie. Willie. Today is April 15th. That's a lot of things going on. We got taxes to do today. Shout out to my good homie, Calabasas Jackson Muhammad, on tax work, as well as Jackie Robinson Day throughout Major League Baseball. Everyone's won number 42 today. Everyone is wearing the number 42 today. That's some deep shit. You are so impactful on a sport. You meant so much to a sport. It take one day out the year. Everybody has to wear your number. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I, what's what's shocking to me is the stress of Jackie Robinson. The stress that man went through. Just he aged. He didn't look his age to be the age he was. He looked 20, 25 years older than that due to the stress that he went through on the ball field, off the ball field, and the statement of being a black man at that time and what he was doing. I think a lot of that had to – Jackie Robinson at 53 looked like he was 80 years old. So with that being said, the stress that we put on ourselves, is it preventable? I know we try to knock down walls and we try to change barriers and we try to do things for ourselves. But if we think about the bigger picture, are we doing it the right way? Is there a better way to do what we're trying to do to become who we are? Talk to me. Is there a better way to do what we're doing to become who we are? Talk to me. Stress is a part of the game. Loss is a part of the game. But sometimes I, I question that theory. There is a better way to do it. I don't have to put my hand in the fire to know it's going to burn. Talk to me. I don't have to fall off the bike to know I'm going to skin my knee. I'm going to need a Band-Aid. Talk to me. But when it comes to the pearls of life and the words of wisdom and us trying to discover what we should do with this thing called life, these obstacles come up. Some handle it and some don't. But when we look back, whether it be entertainers or sports athletes or people in our own family, when we look back at what helped them, how can it help you today? Most important question. How, how can it help you today? Now, I, I, I've, I've, I've seen different things. I've, I've heard different things. But the proven thing to me is roll your sleeves up. And get involved. We got Willie here today. Got Willie with me. Got my, got my, uh, get my strength. Get my, uh, what can I call it? my tramp stamp right here? There it is, right there. My dude, D Yates. There he is, right there. There he is. Get yours today. Get yours today. Yeah. This is my, this is my new bathing suit this summer. This is why I'm rocking this summer. This is my new bathing suit this summer. I'm getting it in. <laughs> you know, 
when you young, we do dumb shit. But once you get past 50, I'm thinking you can do anything the fuck you want to. Once you get to 50, who gives a fuck? Who cares? Who's listening? Who's watching? Live your life. The things I know now, I wish I knew them in my 20s. My father always tried to tell me, boy, you don't know everything. Now that we talked about. But when you get to your 50s, I'm telling you, you, it's like smoking a cigar every day. It's like smoking the perfect blunt every day. It's it's a great thing, especially when you know. Now, when you don't know, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm talking about the people that do know. But when you know to, like today, for instance, walk outside. Walk outside today. This, this weather is captivating. Speechless. And tomorrow is going to be just the same because tomorrow is what? Horse Hookie Tuesday. Who's going to the track tomorrow? Hmm? Who's going to the track tomorrow? Huh? huh? Don't meet me there. Beat me there. Hmm? Who's going to the track tomorrow? We're going to get it in tomorrow for sure. We're going to get it in. What up, Cuzzo? What up, Cuz? What up? What up, Cuzzo? Thanks for tuning in. This is show two today. You know, every Monday we do two shows. D&D don't get butthurt. And Denise, my uh, co-host on that show, is uh, a very interesting lady. She is just now uh, celebrating her third month of being married. So shout out to her and Adam. But she's uh she has no empathy. Like she can see a person get killed in front of her and it wouldn't bother her. She's that cold blooded and that real. That's that's what I like bringing to the table. If you don't know what I'm talking about, every Monday that I do a show as well called D and D Don't Get Butt Hurt with my co-host, co-host Denise. And we do it at 11 o'clock every Monday. We don't have two shows left because it's about to be vacation time. You know, we got to revamp the show, got to upgrade the website. We got a new web developer, B to the table, my dude B. And we're going to try to do some things with the swag with my dude Stu. So, got some whole things coming here, revamping the website, getting some swag gear, t shirts, hats, socks, and coffee cups. Got all that coming. Uh, just the name of the show. My face will not be on anything ever again, but we're going to keep it to the point. Boom. And, and of course, damn right. Damn right. We're getting some, we got to get some Draymond Tears. We have to get some Draymond Tears underwear for the men and women out there. For those of you that still wear underwear, ridiculous. It's like when they wear a bra. Why? Why? Do you know how much a bra costs? You know how much a bra and a good pair of panties costs? Shit. Look here. <laughs> it's like men's underwear. Are you kidding me? What is going on in the fabric industry? Do you know the price of men underwear? Boxers, briefs, tidy whities Underwear expensive. I'm about to go full Charlie Sheen on this bullshit. No underwear. Well, I stopped wearing underwear like 10 years ago. But I'm tired of wearing socks. That, no, no. There's no way men's socks cost that much money. Socks? And women, they sell women mismatched socks on purpose and make money off of it. Some things I don't get. Some things I don't understand. And some things I won't keep it going. But when it comes to that, I'm not agreeing with the fabric industry when it comes to us. Anyway, good people, let's get our pillars out the way and let's get on into the shizzle. Hmm? Let's let it go. Ignore them. Give it time. Don't compete. Stay calm. It's on you and laugh. There you go, America. Those are the rules of the day. Huh? Those are the rules of the day. Right there. Those are the day right there. Moving forward, moving forward along. 
So today is April 15th. You got taxes due today. And it's also Marathon Day, as well as Jackie Robertson Day, where everybody in Major League Baseball wears the number 42. That is, I mean, can you imagine as their story goes to that Robertson family, as kids being born in the Robertson family, and these kids are hearing about that, like, what? That was my great, 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 great. He did what? Think about that. Think about that for a minute. I mean, the projectile view that Hollywood gave us of Jackie coming into the major leagues, we have that, okay? We have the realism of being black people, of going through racism and diversity, okay? And then you have the end result of Jackie Robertson. It's so many stories, so many stories. It's probably one of the first names in sports as an adolescent child in elementary school I heard of, Jackie Robertson. Well, cross the page, Jackie Robertson, Jackie Robertson. Intrigued by this man's ability to play baseball, but the fact he was in the military and the fact that his court martial incident as well if you don't know there's a movie called the court martial of jackie robertson fires motherfucker i think that movie the court martial of jackie robertson and the movie long gone are two of the greatest movies that need to be re-aired when it talks about the transition the opposition the overall observation of color coming into baseball I'm not just talking about black people either, because, you know, there were other people out there, too, as well. And there are no purple people out here. So when people say, I get on with everybody, I don't care what color, you can be green or purple. What is green and purple people at? I got to see them. What do they speak? What? What? When people that have racist behavior say, I get on with them, buddy. Green, purple, blue, yellow. I don't care what color you are. First of all, <laughs> green, blue, and purple people. <laughs> I've never seen anybody blue. No, 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 no. But when people say that, I, ever since I was a child, I would question my educators as well as my parents. Where the blue people at? Where are the blue people? Where, where are they at? Never heard of them. Never seen them. But it's Jackie Robinson Day. Get your taxes done today. Get your taxes done today to pay the fine. Remember the first time you filed taxes and you had your first job? How old were you? The first time you did taxes, how old were you? The first time you did taxes, how old were you? <laughs> It was not a pretty story for me. My G, may she rest very well. In 1988, <laughs> I did my taxes, everything. She helped me do my taxes, read the form together, blah, 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 blah. Doing my, got my first job. Mm. Let me get this money back. How much money do you think I got back? On your first on your first job, and you didn't lie. I mean, people lie on their taxes right now, but back then, people told the truth. Your first income tax check, how much was it? Your state and your federal. How much was it? <laughs> this is when I said, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. But then I did what? I joined the Navy. All right, folks, let's get on into the show. I have learned something about music over the weekend. Shout out to my good homie, uh, Maggie. <laughs> Maggers, DJ Maggers. <laughs> Brought Billy Strings into my life. Watching a live concert through exclusivity 
through a membership you have because you're a fan of this person. You can always see them perform live. It's some different level shit. I did it for Dave Matthews one year, one year only. But I, I'm a bluegrass. I love bluegrass music. Love it. It's just it's different. It's like slowed down hip hop to me. It really is. It, but anywho, watching the Billy Strings concert this weekend, just music is just something else. The way it moves people, where it puts you at, and then what it makes you do after. Hmm. Shout out to Billy Strings. Huh? Billy Strings. You know who Billy Strings is? Google him. On in there for the right reason, for sure. And we need more diversity in music. We need that. Listen. Lauren Hill. Miss Education. When she left the Fugees and did her solo project. Did you pay attention to how she did that? You listen to the lyrics of every song. Did you watch any of the videos? I'm not saying, you know what? I need somebody else to look at what Lauren Hill did, L Boogie, and do that again. Not one female artist. Not one. Lauren Hill was. Was, was was Lauren twerking? Was Lauren putting a bomb pop or a freeze pop in her mouth real slow while rapping? Was Lauren selling music off her body or the ability of her body? No, she was not. Lauren sold music off what? The voice. That's what I miss about music today. That, I don't know what this is today. I, I can't rap, sing, hold a note, do a complete dance move past three minutes. I don't know today's artist at the fuck off. I watched an award show, the I Heart Award Show. I probably knew two artists. I watched the Country Music Awards. That's what country music looks like? Okay. Okay. Before is the voice and the sound and the recognition of music of, of someone being an artist. I that's that old man in me. Am, am I mad that we don't have another Lauren Hill? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. You motherfuckers couldn't learn. When did Aretha take her shit off? When? When when did Patty take her shit off? When did Whitney take her shit off? L Boogie? I I I don't get I don't get the antics of making an anthem, a statement, or a song and a title today. I, I don't get the procedure. I don't agree with the policies. My youngest son, Tim, he, he's in the industry. But he's he's a guy. It, it's totally different with a guy. But with the females, I okay. I have questions. I have a lot of them. And they probably will not get answered, but at the possibility they will, we will prevail. We're going to take a short break here with a word from our sponsor, Mountain Man Scrub. Don't forget, if you want to be a part of the show, do some advertising with us. We're about to start our new season, and we do have room for you, and it's very affordable for you. You get your logo. You get a banner ad on the bottom of the page. You get a link on the website. You get to bring you on the show. And if you have a 30-second promotion, a 45-second promotion, I will run it on the show as a commercial. Just going to show you right now. We'll be right back after this break right here. Smoke them if you got them. Be right back. Mountain Man Scrub. As smooth as a river flows. MountainManScrub.com Get your scrub on. 
as they say in the hood, welcome back to Serta Pro Painters Presents Montez at Midday. I'm your boy Dre Montez, and I hope everyone had a great weekend. It is Magic Monday. I just want to call it Magic Monday. This weather is amazing for sure. This weather is a hey, got the wolf on her. Hey, what's up, wolf? We're going to the horse track tomorrow. Uh, uh, uh. Horse track tomorrow. Uh, uh, uh. Got my auntie Francella in the building as well. My friend in the building. Right it is really in the building. If you're just tuning in, we talked about already the fact today is all it's April 15th. It's Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone in Major League Baseball is wearing number 42. Just think about that for a minute. Just let that sink in. Everyone in baseball is wearing that jersey number today. And baseball is, you think I love football. You think I love football. You think I love NASCAR. I love baseball more. You know why? As a story. As a story I always want to talk about, I always listen to, I always will. I watched the Billy Strings concert of the weekend. We need more diversity in music. Will there ever be another Lauren Hill? I'm talking about her approach after she left the Fugees. That album, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill, is it's nothing but class. That that is class. It's like Missy Elliott first CD. Class. Just banger at the banger. What, what I'm looking at right now, what I'm hearing right now in music. I I I I don't know what that is. It's like Sanskrit or some shit like that. Also, uh, over the weekend, I happened to. If you've ever played sports in your life, let me put this another way: If you have a routine activity and you hurt yourself from a routine activity, that's the shit that hurts. When Kobe Bryant got hurt, when he tore his ACL, it was a play he has done a million times. A million times. When I got hurt playing ball, I done that play a million times. Those are the injuries that fuck with you more than anything. The ones that you've done over and over and over again. That's that psychological effect. That's where that mama mentality came from because he went to the dark side for sure. He got hurt on a play that he's done a million times. When athletes get hurt, we see one side of it. If you played ball before, you know there's another side of it. Okay? You're worried about getting hurt again. You're scared. The way you go, it, de it depends on how severe the injury was. I mean, this is the most severe injury I've ever had in my entire life. I never thought I would play ball again, ever, ever. But I did. But in the back of my mind, was that the right thing to do? Was that the right thing to do at that time when, when, when I did it? Was it selfish, arrogance, narcissist? I don't know because you have that blackout moment. You you don't know. You just know one way to go and that's it. I didn't take any time off. And the more and more I think about it as I get older, I should have taken time off, but I did. Because the psychological effect of an injury of something that you're passionate about is different. It really is for sure. Can we talk about college baseball right now? College baseball. Thank you to my dad for giving me the gene to play baseball. I played baseball until I was 30. I love watching college baseball. Love it. But the new college baseball rules, who approved this? Who approved the new rules of college baseball? 
if if you watch any, I want you to go to YouTube, Google, anybody, just watch, just type in college baseball highlights of the weekend. And you tell me, is that interference? You tell me, is that interference? As a person that used to catch, I was a back catcher when they used to use that phrase, back catcher. I thought I was Daryl Porter and Tony Pena. I could throw a strike to second base in the full split back in the day. But ain't no way college baseball is allowing it to happen. It's atrocious behavior. This is egregious. I need penalties. People need to be fined. There is no way we have taken the game of baseball to this level. I'm trying to steal second base, and I'm doing my job as the shortstop to tag the guy out, but you telling me because I obstructed him getting second base, he's safe? They have taken the home plate rule in Major League Baseball to college baseball too far. I've had enough. I've had enough. Well, tonight is the WNBA draft. You know what I like about the WNBA draft? <laughs> Watching awkward women. No, I'm sorry. Watching women wear a dress and they hate wearing dresses and heels and they don't know how to walk in heels. <laughs> I'm going to laugh so much tonight watching the WNBA draft. Oh, my God. I love the WNBA draft. For the way, watching these women dress, <laughs> especially the women over 6'5". When the last time you seen a woman 6'8 in a dress? I haven't. That's why I'm watching tonight. But tonight is a WNBA draft. Today is tax day. It's Jackie Robinson day. It's Boston Marathon day. It's Monday and tomorrow's what day? Horse Hooky Tuesday. <laughs> Don't meet me at the track. Beat me at the track. What we doing? One of the greatest movies of all time when it comes to baseball was on yesterday. And I watched the documentary of it over the uh, winter, the movie The Natural. That movie got some heavy hitters in there. You got Barbara Hershey, okay? Glenn Close. Glenn Close. Huh? And Kim Bassinger, Basinger, Basinger, ba what? Michael Madsen? Huh? Wilford Brimley? I should have bought a farm, Red. I <laughs> it's it's who okay this guys at your age usually retire playing ball at your age i'm not gonna okay this pop i won't do it i won't do it red i won't do it at all <laughs> he said i should have bought a farm my mom she liked chickens she liked chickens and i like chickens but my mom died and I got in baseball. <laughs> the movie The Natural. I could watch The Natural and Feel the Dreams all day. Back to back. I can watch both of those baseball movies all damn day. By the way, happy anniversary to Menden's parents. To the Menden. The mom and dad of the Menden clan. Happy anniversary to you. But those two movies, those two movies, baseball movies, The Natural and Field of Dreams, this woman shot this man. And that's based off a true story. A woman did shoot a man on a, on a train back in the day. I think it was in the early 30s. But Roy Hobbs, Lightning Bolt, Wonder Boy. 
It is right there. Hit the cover off the ball. And he did. That movie, The Natural, I could watch it time after time. Check it out if you have it in a long time. Check out the movie, The Natural, with Robert Redford. You can see the documentary. It's on Freebie TV. Check it out. But Wilford Brimley, greatest old man in any movie. He has it. He has it for sure. I heard a phrase of the weekend I never heard of. It's called a bro job. I'm going to let you figure that out. Yeah. It's not what you think. When I heard that, I was like, Are you? for real. But tomorrow's Tuesday. Horse hooky. The wolf and I, the wolf and I, the wolf and I, and now the wolf, the wolf and I, the wolf and I, the wolf and I, the wolf. And I, the wolf, and I, the wolf. Track Tuesday, people. Alex at the track. Fan duel racing in Collinsville. Live in action tomorrow. It's going down. Yes. Opening day at the track. It's April 15th. Do your taxes. It's Jackie Robinson Day. It's Marathon Day. And most importantly, it's Magic Monday, good people. There it is right there. Get it in. Get it over with for show with the people. And as they say in the hood, I will holler at you later because, of, of course, we got to get ready. Got to get ready for the day. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. We're 10 days away from the NFL draft. We're 15 days away from vacation. But most importantly, the show is over with. Thank you guys again for another show. Thank you to our uh, Title sponsor, Serta Pro Painters. OKC and the building. And happy anniversary to Mark's parents, the Menden clan. Happy anniversary, mom and dad. Happy anniversary, Mr. Phil and Miss Linda. Happy anniversary. And if you're having a birthday today, happy, happy birthday to you. And if you're off work today, are you off tomorrow? Okay. As they say in the hood, I will holler at you later, and thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Serta Pro Painters Presents Montez at Midbay. And we'll see you later. Peace, and we out.